Our next speaker is Tracy Mapes, Robert Copeland, then Alan Ash. Are you ready for Tracy? Tracy? Yes, please. Mayor Steinberg, council members. Um, I'm here to request an emergency resolution for providing uh, toilet portable toilets for the Ahern and North B Street area. This is uh, basically your district, put this up, this would be your District 9. Basically a uh, homeless encampment of uh, 40 tents has sprung up. Um, it's increased in volume by 30% in the last 20 days. And now I know you guys don't uh, consider this a crisis situation, but it is. And we need uh, toilets out there to serve these people. And I can't go through the permit process, but I would even pay for the toilets to go out there. Thank you. And um, so I'd like you to address the situation in a timely manner. Uh, I know you guys were out there two years ago with your trailer that cost $35,000 and you ended up spending $213,000 in a six month period. Uh, and you deemed it not feasible to be able to continue that because of the cost. I did a cost estimate that would be 14% of that uh, to manage uh, the garbage for an entire year. And um, I can't see you leaving these people out there with nothing. Um, so I'd like you to answer to this. Yeah, go ahead, Jeff. So the River District is in District 3. Correct. It's something that I've dealt with the entire time I've been elected. You're right, there's an increase in camping in that area currently. Uh, there's there's two things. First off, there are bathrooms available a block to the uh, east there at Loaves and Fishes. The daytime hours. Um, additionally, we've created a program with the county to reinstitute the pit stop program. But rather than do it outdoors, it'll be indoors at the old El Hogar building at North A and 14th. So within a half a block of, of this camping activity you've seen. It's important for people to note that we are not enforcing our camping ordinance. We're not moving these people along. Um, we're taking a different tack in terms of working with the homeless and trying to create shelter. Um, at the same time, you know, there's illegal, a lot of illegal activity that happens on the here, and I see it daily. And we do enforce about that, and we will. But the fact of the matter is we are actively engaged in creating facilities for people who choose to camp here. We, we don't want people to camp here. This is, this is not, you know, a camping area. So um, we're moving uh, in that direction on a couple of fronts. And there's, there's, things are going to get pretty robust very soon about that. Um, you know, I, I just have to say that this is a big issue that we've tackled in these chambers for a long time and we've made progress and we will continue to make progress. But I will say this, we've put porta potties out in this area in the past and they were destroyed within three hours. It's not a solution. We've tried it. It's been done and failed numerous times. I'm Even willing, a porta potty on the Rose and Fishes property I'm willing to was take not the risk to successful. Risk myself. Well but I need the permit process uh, streamlined. I'm. This is a city problem. You should be paid for this. And we are. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sure. Thank you. Go ahead. Time is, no, Go ahead, time. Sir. Your time is up. We. Okay. We'll t take a few more seconds. I apologize. I missed the um, missed the time clock. What I wanted to say is that uh, A Street uh, facility won't be open for another two weeks. These toilets are needed here tomorrow. These toilets are needed here now. I want 10 garbage cans from the city so that they can provide garbage service pickup once a week. And I want four toilets delivered to that location. Thank you. Thank you. 
The next speaker is Robert Copeland, Alan Ash, James Fago-Clark. Thank you, sir.